Hello. I'm on the back of Narrowboat Silver Fox. Now we've got some very classy temporary carpet just to keep it protected. Uh, as you can tell, we've got wires and we've got cables and we've got all sorts on the back here. The electrician has been in doing some more first fixing. You want to look inside, don't you? All right, come on then. All right, so you can see we've got some bulkheads in. So this is kind of part of a cupboard, all right? The back bulkhead, way back there at the stern, you can see this bit here, okay? This is like the back bulkhead, this is the rear one. So we've got this cupboard in here. This is where the inverter's gonna go. It's not in yet, I'll show you next time when we've fitted it in. But the inverter's gonna go in here. This is where the control panels for all the lights and isolators and everything that will fit in there and then we've got spaces for like the solar and the batteries and everything else. All these are going to go in this side and then from here this is where the kitchen is going to be, the galley. So we've got work top across here, we've got the sink just in here, nothing to do with us. So this is where the hot water tank is going to be. Uh, you can see some hoses just down here, look, there you go, some hoses coming through. Uh, from the engine with the hot water that's going to heat the hot water in the tank which is just going to be in this space and then this is the first bit of the galley so this is where the oven and the microwave are going to be seen there's going to be some storage just underneath there and then as we come forward the hob is going to be just in front of the window we've got some more worktop space and then we've got storage space just underneath there you can see a lot of the first fixing has already been done so we've got lighting circuits and we've got the ring main for the sockets and the 12 volt circuits all those are now first fixed in and as the build progresses you can see it's all channeled down here like you can see all the cables coming down on each side got lighting cables coming out there look so all these have been first fixed in and then as the boat progresses obviously they'll get covered up by the panels as it moves on I'm excited, I'm excited. So this is the back of the galley. This is like the end of the galley. And this is the first bit of the dinette. Hello, the dinette. This is the first bit. This is the back of it, or the front of it, whichever way you're looking at it. So the table goes right in the middle. And then we've got seats at each side and my famous side hatches. Come and have a look at the color look. <laughs> it won't look like that obviously we're going to have like wooden uh, like panels on there uh, but side hatches there and again cables you can see the cables running through if you just come in a little bit closer to these uh, so you might see these all around the boat these are the solar connections from the photovoltaic panels up on the roof we've got five panels up on the roof uh, these come down and all connect and go right down towards the electrics at the front more on that when we do the electrics vlog in a couple of weeks okay Sean's in the saloon so this is the saloon area now if we just go down to this side you can see we've got a HDMI cable and a cat5 Ethernet cable that's going to be for the internet for the smart TV so we can get Netflix and iPlayer and all the on-demand stuff and the HDMI cable is uh, we were going to fit Apple TV but we've actually been experimenting and messing about and we found that we can just put all the programs and stuff that we've got on a USB and that'll plug in the TV. So we might not be using the uh, HDMI, or I might get a PS4. Watch this space. Uh, we've also got the space for the sockets and the aerial cable coming through there. And we're having a media cabinet built in here. We've got a 40 inch smart uh, 4K TV. Uh, we've got it in the Black Friday sale, 170 quid bargain and that's going to be sitting inside a media cabinet just there see all the cables there trunked in all this will be hidden behind the panel once it's finished on this side is where the sofa is going to be so we've got to, we've got to find a sofa to be honest first we want something really comfy it's got to meet the regulations fire regulations for the boat safety certificate so we've got to find something that kind of ticks all the boxes and to be honest we haven't even started looking yet because it's going to be a couple of months before we move on anyway uh, so that's going to be one of the last things we do uh, and that's just going to sit in this corner around here stoves coming down here you can just see the chimney top of the chimney and we've got another few uh, of these solar connections coming down from near the chimney there now where Sean is now is going to be the bathroom so if we kind of swap places so if you come right down here to start with 
this is where the cassette will pull out into the saloon. So the toilet's going to be sat here. We're having a cassette toilet and it will pull out this way. So we'll pull the cassette out that way or Sean will pull the cassette out that way <laughs> and take it to the L sound point and empty it and we push it back in. There's going to be a door on there as well. In here, so this is the bathroom. It's going to be the bathroom. You can see we've already squared off this area here. This is where the shower is going to be. So the shower cubicle is going to kind of come round. It's like a quadrant will come round there. Uh, shower on this side and all this is going to be panelled out properly. Uh, with the fan, you can see the extractor just up there. More cables, toilet there, and sink on this side. It's like a corner sink with a cupboard underneath. It's going to look good. It's going to look cool. Right, coming forward into the bedroom. So remember me telling you we were swapping the bed around, weren't we? Because normally you kind of sleep this way on a narrow boat. Yeah, but we're not. We're turning it round. We're going to sleep that way. <sighs> because of the angle of the bow, because the bow is normally a little bit higher, so because of my acid reflux, it's better if I sleep that way, then I'm not kind of upside down, so it helps my acid reflux. But it caused a problem. Not a problem, it caused an issue. Because we've had to build the back of the bed higher, it kind of shortens the space at the bow, at the doors, so when we're coming down the steps, we've got kind of this dead end where we'd normally have the kind of end of the bed down here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to change this cupboard space in the corner. We're going to bring it in a little bit and that'll just give us that little bit more room just to get through. Uh, the bed is going to be a full size, king size pull out bed. For us, we're probably going to leave it pulled out because we're not going to need to get to the bow through here anyway. We can if we squeeze by the side, but we can get out the front. So what's the point? Right, at the back, front, at the front. Finally then, this is where, let's just lift all these out away for Sean. <laughs> this is where our wardrobe space is going to be. Uh, it's going to be built down from here. Uh, we're going to have a little light in there. And then steps uh, just up into the uh, bow. You can see the uh, bow thruster and bow lockers just out at the front. And then finally, just come down here, you can just see the water tank. This is all yet to be plumbed in. All the first fix for the plumbing starts in uh, in the next week or two. And we've just got the connections there for the water pump ready to be connected. <sighs> I need a cup of tea now. Narrowboats are notorious for not having a lot of storage. It's not the place to be if you've got masses and tons of belongings. Uh, but we can be quite ingenious in where we put some storage. And where we've got the dinette, underneath the cushions, we're going to have some lids that will just open. And all the space underneath each of the seats uh, is available for storage. The other thing we can do is we can change the configuration of it. So we take the table out and we just move it about a bit and it will be a bed. Sean's having a nosy in our new cupboards. So these are the cupboards just above where our bed is going to be. And where the TV's going to be here. And we're having a TV. So we're having a 32 inch smart TV at the foot of the bed. Don't forget we're actually turning our bed around. So our feet are going to be where Sean is. And we're having a 32 inch TV just on that back wall there. Uh, you can see the cables underneath. So the blue cable is the, is the room main. That's that one. That's that one. So that's for the 230 sockets. And then we've got the black cable next to it, which is the Cat5 Ethernet. So that's going to bring the internet. And if we just scan up a little bit, we can see the This coax. one here, that's the coax for the TV aerial. So that's from the aerial on the roof. And we're going to have our TV on there. And where Sean is stood is going to be where the bed is. So we're going to have storage under there as well. And we're having a full five foot king size bed. We've Way given out here. Way out here. Give Rob a bit of a headache, can't we? Try we have, to yes. engineer it well. Because we're having it engineered slightly differently to how a lot of boat builders do their king size beds. It is going to be a pull out bed, but we're having a little bit of extra kind of support for it. And that should be going in in the next week or two. Sean's mooching about in the bedroom somewhere. <laughs> there he is. 
Uh, the bathroom, uh, we've got the shower cubicle squared off and we've got the shower cubicle in. Not gonna go on too much about that. We're gonna cover that in another vlog, which is all about the first fix of the plumbing. First thing you might notice is that we've bordered the inside of the boat from top to bottom. Well, not quite the roof. Don't look down there. Not yet. The top is this moisture resistant MDF board and it's uh, coated in this, it's actually elk. We've not coated it in actual elk. The color of the paint is elk, which actually goes nicely with this oak trim and then the oak boards at the bottom. Can you notice anything? Is anything missing? You can see the side hatch there. Do you notice anything kind of different? There's no windows. <laughs> the windows. Windows have got to go in. So as soon as, the, uh, as soon as Barry from Caldwell Windows comes through, we're going to put the windows in and Rob's going to trim out these boards so we will have windows. Honestly, it's not just going to be a shell like this. It feels weird because it feels like the, like this vlog is not a long vlog, mm. but yet the boat's changing so much. It's changed quite a lot, hasn't it? And it just feels like we we're not kind of the, the vlogs don't seem to reflect the amount of change no. that's going on in the boat, and it feels a bit weird. I think the final vlog's going to be the where you see the big changes, isn't it? Yeah, from start to finish. When you kind of look at it from vlog to vlog, you see these big differences. We're not seeing it like that because we see it so often, we see these little changes. I think it's like when you're trying to lose weight and you look in the mirror and you don't see a change, but then you kind of look once a month and you notice the changes more, yeah. don't you? Next up, we're going to take you through the plumbing and the first fix and all the pipe work. And I think we're going to learn a thing or two about the plumbing. Yeah, I think we will. So join us for that. If you've liked the vlog, give it a like. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And if you, uh, yeah, if you tick the notifications, if you select that, we'll let you know every time we release a new vlog. And we'll see you next time. See you later, bye-bye. It actually looks like the carpet from Mark's boat. <laughs> and connect to the Uber. It's <laughs> exciting. Why am I getting excited now with that? I'm excited. I'm excited. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's so hot. <laughs> Hello. Fall in. Uh, I'm trying to get comfortable. I can't get comfortable. Are you comfy now? Okay. okay. There you go. <laughs> Hang on, I'm coffee now. Come on. <laughs> First thing you'll notice is that the... It is. Oh! First thing you might notice is that the... First thing you might notice is that the... So, the, so the first thing that you might notice is that the sides on the outer outer kind of paint on there. What are they called? Uppers. I can't call them uppers. I saw one online the other day called Elephant's Breath. <laughs> Same colour. <laughs> Weird. This runs all the way through the boat, either side, and. Good outtakes because when you pull a face, it's hilarious. It's, it's nice. like elastic. <laughs> so when we lift our what do we call it? Cushions. Cushions. Storage on narrowboats is 